because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here at the Manchester Arena. A victorious debut for William Crawler. First of all, just get the first one under your belt with such a big crowd in an iconic arena for your family. How did that feel? Oh, do you know what? By the third round, um, it was amazing. I loved every minute of it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to do it again. Talk me through the fight. Obviously, you boxed really well just speaking to your team after the fight. I know you're a little bit disappointed with the knockdown, but you stayed calm and you done the business, didn't you? Um, I fought I hurt him in the first, and then I started head hunting the entire fight because I knew I could hurt him. And I thought I'd get him out of there because I wanted to, I wanted to impress. But, uh, and in the third, it wasn't, it wasn't a knockdown. Um, I get the trolls on Twitter and that saying it was, but it wasn't. It was too close. His bicep near enough knocked me over. And, uh, if, and Steve said it was a... Uh, that's a scoring part of the body, which I didn't know. So, uh, if it is, it is. But, like you say, we, it was given a 9 9 that round, so it says a lot about the fight. And uh, if I entertain people, then so be it. I'm happy. What was that big ring walk like? You had a lot of support out there tonight. Oh, the ring walk was amazing. I loved it. And uh, it's a belting tune as well. And uh, that'll probably be my, that'll be my tune now, I think, for, forever. You want to be active, stay out, because surely you got that bug now. That was my, uh, so my second fight in seven years. That don't don't know what it looked like, but it's my second fight in seven years. So that's what I look. That's what I'm forgetting when I'm being this harsh on myself, and I just want to stay busy. And if my next fight might not be on one of these big shows, I'm cool with that. I'll fight on the small low shows. I've told you my leg up to here was my name, and hopefully entertain them until so I'll be back. But I'll happily fight on any show, and I just want to be busy by Christmas four, five, and all. This time next year six, seven, and all. By the end of next year, it'll be 11, 12 and all, and uh, that's what I'll do, stay active and stay busy. I'll have a week off now, go away tomorrow, um, go cold play Thursday, a decent little week, and then I'll be back in the gym next Monday, ready for another, for another fight next month. Eddie said on the broadcast that the best compliment he can give you is he would be impressed taking away your name. Um, just to hear them words from Eddie, you, you must have been grateful for that. I can't be more thankful for him saying that, and for giving me this opportunity, he didn't have to do that. He could have put one of his own lads on, and he didn't. And I'm probably forever grateful because this is this will live down. I'll remember this forever, and it's because of him. Do you think you've impressed enough, and do you think you will look to get on these big shows once again? Well, it's up to you, but if you get knocked down and still winning a full round, then it must be an all right fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> Excellent. Last one. Just uh, any thank yous you want to give for this moment here? I want to thank Anthony to just behind you there. Um, I was going down a bad path, putting. Uh, doing bad thing. well, I was never, nothing with crime, just living a bad life, which every lad, well, lad can do, and um, he brought me on the right path, and this wouldn't have been, this wouldn't have been um, possible without him. Excellent, William, thank you very much for being to IFL TV, and congratulations on your first win, mate. because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day,